Hello, this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you are having a most wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Please hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are uploaded. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. If you like to have a topic discussed, please let me know in the comment section or email me at ladyboulay8596 at AOL.com. If you're living in the United States of America today, you are observing either Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day. We remember from elementary school studying about this dashing Italian explorer who came across the rugged ocean in three ships to discover this new land. In this new land, we know he met millions and millions of people that they called Indians because they were trying to find a new route to India but they found this new world. No, they discovered this new world and so they call these new people Indians. The operative words here are there were millions and millions of them. I can remember the song we made up in my fourth grade classroom about the three ships they had sailed on. The Nina, the Penta, and the Santa Maria. We were taught that the indigenous people that they found here were friendly, that they taught them the lay of the land, that they invited them to their villages, taught them how to grow food, especially corn, and at the end of harvest, they had this great celebration. We all had this picture of this long table where there were indigenous people and Europeans sitting around eating. And there was food from one end of the table to the next. But there were indigenous people coming up from the river with even more food. This was told to us to be a wonderful celebration. Now, as an African American, I would be remiss in my responsibility if I did not mention that on those ships in 1492 were Africans, people that would eventually be brought here as slaves. So that lets us know that the scramble for Africa and the exploitation of the homeland of our ancestors had already begun in 1492. But this video is about the indigenous people and they want the world to know that the picture that has been painted of Columbus making him into a hero, erecting statues of him, that that is incorrect and it is offensive to them. Because we learned later as we studied American history that there was a degree of brutality that took place against the indigenous people that really equals genocide. There was genocide against them. Columbus's expedition to this so-called new world was bad enough, but the ones who came after him, Cortez to name one, what they did was just inhumane and it is documented. It's a toss-up as to who received the worst treatment by the Europeans, the indigenous people or the Africans. So the indigenous people are making their voices heard and their feelings known. They are protesting against the Columbus Day holiday. They're protesting against these statues of Columbus and also by the misuse of their cultural names by these sports teams. They're offended by sports teams calling themselves Indians and Redskins and Braves and Seminoles. They are highly offended by that. And African Americans have gone along with it too. And we have been accused by other groups of living in a bubble, operating in a bubble, and only being concerned about our own issues. But I don't think that's true. I know that we are concerned about the pain and suffering of other people, even as we do have our own issues. The indigenous people do make a point. They lost their homeland, their ancestral homelands, forever. They were destroyed not only as a people, 
but as a peoples because they were different tribes and each tribe was its own nation. The indigenous people were double-crossed, they were outmaneuvered, and they were outgunned by the Europeans, people that they, it, from all indication, appeared that they would have welcomed and shared what they had with them. But the Europeans were in search of conquest, of land, of autonomy. And they found that in a group of people who were not able to compete with them, especially with their weaponry. The Europeans first came with the diseases. They wiped most of them out with diseases. The smallpox bank blankets given them the blankets knowing that they were riddled with smallpox and that killed a lot of them. Their immune systems were not used to the, those foreign diseases and most of them were wiped out by diseases brought by the Europeans and then they came with the guns and they made war on them. Now there's this big effort to romanticize the relationship with the indigenous people just as people keep trying to make movies to romanticize slavery. This was not a romance between the Europeans and the indigenous people or the Africans. This was conquest. This was defeat. This was torture. And this is what the indigenous people want the world to know. And this is why they want America to stop celebrating Columbus Day. And this is where the critical race theory comes in. Critical race theory says that white interests were advanced in America at the expense of other races of people. The indigenous people were the first ones to lose in the making of the American empire. And they want the world to stop celebrating Columbus Day and replace it with Indigenous Peoples Day in honor of what they lost and so that people will know what happened to them. So I did want to reference the critical race theory because this is what it's talking about. What happened to other races of people in the building of the American Empire. Somebody won, but others lost. I'm going to end the video on that note. Happy Indigenous Peoples Day. And I want to say that I do not discount what the Europeans did here. This is a great country. We have an infrastructure and systems in place here that's second to none in the world. And we know that because everybody is trying to come here. So I do not discount what the Europeans did here. I also disagree with them that the critical race theory is about hating white people. That is not true. This, it is about coming to terms with what has happened here and then come together on how we want to go forward in this country together. And on that note, I will say, if you are observing Columbus Day, Happy Columbus Day. If you are observing Indigenous Peoples Day, Happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Thank you for listening. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.